What is going on, guys? Ice Crab here today. We are back with some more Skyrim. Let's play part ten. We are level nine. Level nine. So we recently got that note, which is just Dan. Okay, here we go. We're back. This is our character. Where's Lydia? Oh, there's Lydia. You weird, Lydia. Okay. But well, we must continue. We are going to White Run. Back, back to White Run. All right, here we are. Well, let's go. Okay, we've got that Orcish sword now. So if I can even pronounce sword, that'd be nice. Um, does Markarth have a, uh, I don't think Markarth has a sta- or not Markarth, Morthal has stables, which means we have to walk the whole freaking way back to White Run. Great. Real Narnar, -nar, bro. Real Narnar. -nar. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that. What are you guys doing? Having fun there watching my video? I forgot I'm not live streaming. <laughs> Confusing trying to make live stream and then video like and I both do Skyrim all the time, so I Know it's weird. We should we go in here. No, we shouldn't That's a sidetrack. I don't want to sidetrack right now Lydia anywhere, not really. We should probably run to make things a little faster. Cause you know how these videos go with all the rules that um been put in place, that have been put in place. It's a little bit lengthy to walk everywhere. But it's all about the experience, right? I gotta make Skyrim new, so this is how I'm gonna do it. What is going on? The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. I have nothing to say to you. Now move along. Noble. Screw nobles. They're not even noble at all. Okay, now I got to join the Imperial Legion thing. Okay. Don't know if that's Labyrinthian up there. I think we'll just take the road. I don't know if this is the right road. Uh, I think that one's gonna go into Labyrinthian. I don't really want to do that, but I don't know. We'll see how fast we can book it through Labyrinthian. Place is scary. Give me nightmares. Yep, this is the road to Labyrinthian. Oh boy. Can we survive again? Because I already went through it once. We should probably save it when we get close. Er, because, you know, I'm not going to make it very far. We should save it. And they're already coming after me. Great. Time to go. Another one 
right there waiting for me. Scrub, run. Oh, he is coming. Okay. Screw him the music in Skyrim. Like some of it's good, but then some of it is just like, ew, that's a terrible song. Ow, what the heck, dude? Like, I don't know, I don't like the shouting songs. Like, they're good. If you can sing it, like legit sing it all right man you know you do that it sounds nice but if you can just like you like have to shout it like they do at the beginning like the the startup menu i don't like that i don't like the shouting it's annoying Tordova. these guys just making I think there should be a distinction between music played by like you know the people. I should probably kill these dudes. I swear I'll kill you. A nice sword, actually. Uh. Ow! Oh god, screw you. Are you prepared to die? <laughs> Did I just discover Silent Moon? I think I just discovered it. Alright, fine. Uh. Yeah. Take a swig. Is someone there? Yeah, someone's there. Stop with the magic! Oh crap! I just hit Lydia. Oh boy, you all right, Lydia? Okay, you good? Are you prepared to die? Oh god! <gasps> Archery or Smith Archery? Duh. What? Wait, why do I have an iron shield? Screw that. Give me that. Give me that. I don't know if I've read these books or not. Maybe they level you up. That does. Okay, good. Oh, hey! Alright, let's go. As we were. Probably go in here just to clean them all out. 
guess that'll be the action for this video. I should probably do a bow right now. Is someone there? What? How did that miss? Question mark. Okay, good. I. I shot the arrow, but like didn't go anywhere. Wait, I need different arrows. I don't want to use those. Ten. Oh. What was that? Wait, what's my uh what's my stone? Real quick to make sure I got the right stone. Or your stone, alright, that's good. That's what I wanted. I think those are better than the gauntlets I have now. We'll see. Iron gauntlets for twelve fourteen. I got the zoom now. That's pretty good, I guess. Forgot about that. Ugh. So bad at lockpicking, it's like not even funny. It is the, probably one of my worst traits, like, or skills, and. Skyrim in general and they're actually easy compared to the the ones in Oblivion because you know I played that game too right so Oblivion's lockpicks dude it's not even like even close to the way you lockpick in this because like how Oblivion works is you put your lockpick into the lock and Depending on the difficulty of the lock, there's like these little like, I don't know what to call them, but they're like, things that slide up and down, like your pick goes in sideways, and then there's these things that you have to like, use, the, use your pick, poke these little things up. And then try to lock them in place. And you have to do that so many times. If you screw up, it breaks your pick. And you have to start all over again. And all like the little things are reset. And it's super difficult. And I'll show you what I mean. I might make a, a video um, on that. It's really difficult. So, yeah. Just to let you know. Lock picking is not fun. If I if I can avoid lock picking, I do it. Like when it comes to oblivion. And if you guys are gonna buy oblivion, you're thinking about it and. Or you already got it, but you're new to the game, like, early on. Even if you're not early on, if you're not a vampire yet, if you haven't been infected by vampirism, you have to go get the ingredients, like, right now, for what you need for vampirism. And you can go look it up on YouTube, the ingredients you need to cure vampirism in Oblivion, because it is the worst thing. Like, if you're out in the sun, you die instantly, almost. Like, it just drains your health really, really, really fast. So, it's not like in Skyrim where you have less health in general. It's like, it drains it. It just goes down, down, down. And it's really fast, especially if you're a low level. So, my recommendation is find that because 
in order to get rid of it, you have to go to some witch's house, which is out in the middle of nowhere, mind you. So it takes a while to get there, and you have to technically break in to talk to her. She doesn't come out of her house, so you have to break in and talk to her. And you're not allowed to wait inside that house, so if you, if you spend too long in there and it becomes daytime, you can't leave. And you can't wait either, so you literally have to wait in-game hours. So, not not this. You can't do that. You can't wait, like, five hours in this. You literally have to sit there until the time is nighttime. And, like, you use this to check what time it is. And the time does pass in the game, but you have to wait until nighttime, which takes forever. Or you're just standing there in some guy's house. If you're not engaged in conversation with them, then it's considered robbing, and you can get attacked by the guard if you stay in there. So it's really difficult. So I recommend just get everything you need, and then when you do turn into a vampire, you can go to that person's house and then give them all the ingredients, and then they can just make you a potion, and you can cure yourself that fast. So that's what I did wrong on my first Oblivion character. I didn't, I wasn't ready to get turned into a vampire, and I got turned into a vampire, so it was really bad. And so, I scrapped that character, I hate it now. So, I started a new one. Um, and I'm, a, I'm thinking about going and getting the, all those ingredients, because it's just a nightmare. I don't know why there's stuff, weapons on the ground right there, it's a little strange. Um, so first things first, back to Skyrim, we're going to... Wait, who's this? This is a mercenary. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to you. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? I don't have to take that from you. You're mine. <laughs> <laughs> Scrub. I think this helmet twenty was my helmet do. Tw wow, twenty one, scrub. My helmet's better than yours. So back to this, we're gonna sell some stuff here, uh, I got a lot of crap to sell so I'm just gonna unload on the garbage, and then we're gonna get, I think we're headed to, you know, that place, um, Riften next, which, so that means I'm gonna go to Whiterun, sell more stuff, and then get the, uh, the guy to take me there, because ain't no way I'm walking. This video's already long enough. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. And that's... Two of the DLCs have come to me now. Still waiting on Dragonborn. I mean, I'm not... Nope. Nope, not Dragonborn. Got that. We're still waiting on, uh... The other one. The first one. Whatever you need. Buy you smear the finest weapons and armor. Okay, uh, yeah, about that. Uh, how about, uh, you can have some of that. You can and that, 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 and I don't really know if I want to say any of that. But I got more. I'm right behind you. I am at your command. Yeah, okay. Um, we'll just take one at a time the stuff that I want back. Wow, that's a lot of money. I'm going to take that. And I'm just going to fill up.
can have your arrow and the, and I can have the rest of this. Yeah, that's too much. Come on down, there we go. Okay. You need our fire. You looking for I see no the grindstone will if you've got the raw material. Looking to protect yourself? Or okay, do I got some more stuff damage. to sell, pal. You know what? I think I'll keep that in my house just because it's special. You don't even got enough money for that. Barrel, maybe. What else you want? Yeah. Can you, know, you can have. I uh, know. You can have one of those. It's just two gold. I don't care about two gold. I. All right. Next, we're going in here. Some more stuff, you know the shebang. Hey, buddy! Wait, can I take the rest of my stuff? Friends, I have something for you here. Still, thanks. Lydia got me an ale. How awesome! Okay, I need more stuff. Okay, thank you for that. Thank you. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. All right, buddy, come on, come on, come on. Oh God, I'll die. Yeah, right. oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Weapons, what can I sell you? Can you sell that? There we go. Somebody can take that. Okay. All right. Okay. Not enough money for that. Not enough money for that. Want some of this? One more. There we go. We uh, want some boots. That's very good. How about. We only have five gold left. That's worth eight. That's ten. Okay. This silver, normal old silver ring is worth more than robes of minor destruction. That's interesting. Okay. Can't have my food. Can have some of that. There you go. All right. All right. All right. So I think the video will end at uh, White Run. Go and sell stuff at White Run over yet. These videos are gonna be longer. That's just a thing. With the rules I've put in place. Longness is going to be real, uh, but some people like long videos, so that's how it's going to have to be. You're that visitor been poking around. She's already mine. I keep telling you. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. The only problem with again, or to uh, go to the attic room is some random traveler could be like, "You guys have an attic room." Because they might like the attic room, you know, that might be their thing. And then she goes, oh, the Dragonborn. And it might not even be the Dragonborn, it's going to be some random dude, like, totally confused and you know, oblivious to what's going on. Just saying. Just saying, for the record. So you're the Dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me. Alright, man. Whatever, man. That's, that's real dope, real dope. Okay, so we gotta do that. We might do that first. That was our first quest. We'll do that right now, actually. That'll be, that'll be today's video. It's gonna be, so it's gonna be a long video, but that's alright. We have to run there now. Well, most of there. <sighs> I 
in the next video we'll be running back and then probably I don't know we might go to uh, no, I'm not gonna I'm not just gonna spoil anything else because that's the thing about it but people are gonna watch this for oh I don't know the game well if you don't know the game I keep talking about the future missions and stuff and that's not really right so I'll shut up about the future missions I would just talk about what's going on in the current ones, like going to the. Pl I don't even. You know, I don't really care about the names of places. So we're going to that place, the bottom of the steps. That's where we're gonna go right now. So apparently, um, I learned this through Syndicate Central, which is Syndicate's vlogging channel. At a hundred million subscribers, which no one's close to, a um, hundred million, you get a personal helicopter. Pretty sure that's correct. At a hundred million subs, you get a personal helicopter, and I think that's insane. Oh, did you need something? Screw you. I hate that guy. Um. Yeah, you better get going. You're not doing anything. You've been sitting there for like five days. Um, I was gonna say, the closest person to that is PewDiePie with, he has like, I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna throw probably about 40 million. Maybe that's a little high. I don't know. It's about 40 million subscribers, I'd, I think. And so, even double what he has... Which would be 80. It's not even enough to get a personal helicopter. Which I don't even think there's that many people on YouTube. So I'm just throwing it out there. I don't think there's 100 million people on YouTube. There might be. You never know. There's. What was that? Six approaching 7 billion people on Earth, I think. a lot of people. Just saying, that's a lot of people. Out the way! <sighs> Who's ready for Skyrim Remastered? Oh yeah! I can't wait for Skyrim Remastered. That's gonna be so much fun. Playing on Xbox One, are you kidding me? New graphics, hopefully an updated game at least. Fix the bugs and whatever else that are in this one. Mods. I can't wait for mods. Because the Xbox One or the newer consoles in general have the power to add mods to your game. So like Fallout 4, you can mod Fallout 4 if you want to. Um, which I think, bringing the modern, modding community from PC to console players, um, for a game like Skyrim, which everybody wants mods for, I think that would be just, like, the best thing ever. I don't know about you guys, but that would be, like, personally one of my favorite things that's coming to the new consoles, um, with Bethesda games and games in general, is modding community. I mean, like, that's awesome. Modding is awesome. You know, it makes the game fresh, new again. So I think that's a, I think that's it. That's the really gonna be the thing that they want. And then also, oh my god, you know what, pal? You know what? It's not always about fighting. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Dark elf. You know what?
as I was saying, um, you know, they kind of screwed up with, uh, 35. Goodbye, Elven Armor. I guess new, new peril in town. But as I was saying, um, yeah, bringing the modding community over to console players, that's gonna be awesome. And then Bethesda kind of screwed up with the PlayStation 3. Skyrim on PS3 was the most disgusting thing ever, like, there was so many bugs and glitches and problems with it, and as well as, pretty much all Elder Scrolls games have a problem with PlayStation 3, like, for some odd reason, PlayStation and Bethesda's games don't really, well, not Bethesda's games, but, like, the Elder Scrolls series don't like, like, they don't go together for some reason, so I think redoing it would be is a really good move and then again people are saying like hey uh why don't they do oblivion or uh you know morrowind and i think that'd be great i mean like to play morrowind which i think that'd be really cool because that game is 2016 that game is like 14 years old and oblivion's 10 and Skyrim was only like four years old. Came out in 2012, I think. So this game's only four years old. Maybe five, I don't know. I don't know when it came out exactly, but. Um, I think that'd be really cool. Even, like, to do the older games would be kind of cool, but. I watched a couple of videos. A lot of them are saying the same thing. Bethesda made all, like, buttloads of money off Skyrim. Like, Skyrim, more, most people came to Elder Scrolls through Skyrim. You know, I, I came through Elder Scrolls through Skyrim. Um, most people did, because Skyrim was, it looked like the dopest game on the earth. And it, it is. You know, maybe not, maybe not the same as Grand Theft Auto, but it's one of the dopest games on earth. Um, you know, it's got his problems, but every game does, you know. Uh, so, just saying, I really like this game, and a lot of people did. Um, you know, I didn't know much about the Elder Scrolls, you know, I knew Skyrim was a game, I knew that it was fun, apparently. Uh, I watched... A little bit of it. I didn't watch too much of it. You know, I tried to get into it. I was like, yeah, this game's dope. Um, I'm a, I was a big Lord of the Rings fan. So, I was, you know, I was looking at this game thinking it was pretty dope. I played it at my friend's house. like, I mean, no, my cousin's house once. I didn't get very far. I picked up everything and, like, it was over encumbered before I even got done with the tutorial. So. No more stops. We need to find our way to Sonic. Oh my god. They're so far away from solitude. Just saying. But as I was saying, I didn't, you know, I wasn't too good with games at that time. You know, that was also back when I was looking at Call of Duty and going, you know, this game is sweet. I want a copy of this. You know, that's before I had Call of Duty and everything. But eventually I did get Skyrim. Um, before Skyrim I played games like Dungeons and Dragons and, you know, did Lord of the Rings movies and stuff like that. That's what was Skyrim for me before I actually got into the game. And I tried to explain to my dad that Skyrim was Dungeons and Dragons but a video game version. And that's kind of what, you know, got me into it was it's this lore play idea um, that I really enjoyed the lore play idea so that's why I did so yeah I'm really glad I got this game actually I had to pay for it with my own my own cash but it's all right freezes every now and then but I'm playing on old console so that's how it's gonna be And as I was saying with... 
and I know that's, you know, I was going with, you know, Bethesda, they made a buttload of money, everybody joined with this. Not everybody, obviously, you know, as people back with, you know, people played Arena. They were hated for Arena. They, you know, people thought Arena was the dumbest thing on earth, and they were like, hey, hey you're never going to pull this off, you're, you're a scrub. Pretty much, it's generally what people were saying. Um, so we're the only fast travel allowed is up and down this mountain, by the way. In case you're crying about why I'm fast traveling. Um, but, you know, and I, I even went back and bought Oblivion because I was like, because I got sold on the game. I watched a video that said things Oblivion did better than Skyrim and I watched it and I, you know, I got sold on Oblivion. So I bought it and, you know, happy with the game. There's problems with it, obviously, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy with all the Elder Scrolls games I've got, which is two, but still, you know, I'm happy with them. It's good. Um, yeah, I know. I don't know. I'm just going to keep ranting or I'm trying to think of what I've gone over already. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Wimko. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Okay, so... We're gonna do this. Alright. Um, yeah, so, because Skyrim made them a buttload of money, and it didn't work for anybody who did, uh, PlayStation, uh, not, well, not everybody, but pretty much everybody was ripped off with the way they did PlayStation 3, I think it'd be a really good move to remaster the most popular game. Out is much more powerful. Use it twice. So I'm gonna get this in a second, but I'm just gonna finish up what I'm saying. It not only made them a buttload of money, you know, it kinda screwed some people, so they'll get back at that. They had this new creator option which helps modding so much with Skyrim. Skyrim mod, there's like probably more mods for Skyrim than most games out there, honestly. Um, because it was so easy to make mods, and modding's awesome, but it was it was just uh, PC gamers who could mod. And that's how they made the game new again. And so to bring modding to consoles now with the technology we have, and to bring that to Skyrim, which is probably the most modded game of all time, that would be insane. Yeah, like they're gonna make a lot of money off this, and like they already have made money off Skyrim. But they're gonna make a bunch more, and then I think it's an experiment. Also, I think they're gonna see what people like about the remaster, what they want for mods, stuff like that, and then they're gonna put that into their next game, which I don't really know what it's gonna be, where it's gonna take place. I saw a video that said it'd be Valenwood, and it was a good video, but, you know, there's some things, there's still some speculation, I don't really know where it's gonna be, um, it'd be sweet to see another, like, an Elder Scrolls 6, I know we're gonna see one, but where, I don't know, um, I can't wait to see that, that's gonna be really cool, uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking, it's gonna be the end of the video, but, just saying, I really like the idea of remastering Skyrim. <laughs> between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Windra, 
I think they could have done better on this part of the animation. It's like what they're really cool. Someone put in the comment section. Uh, yeah, this is what it means, by the way. Just to let you know. Um, I think that'd be really cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please leave a like and a comment in the comment section. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and follow me on all the social medias at ts underscore iced crab. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. And don't forget, don't forget to, besides subscribing to me. Uh, and follow me on all the social medias. Follow me on Twitch at the Spartan underscore Iced Crab. I Twitch. I, I Twitch stream a lot. Uh, not quite daily. Um, pretty pretty darn close to daily. Um, and I stream mostly Skyrim, but I also do Call of Duty, Oblivion, and Call of Duty 2. I mean Black Ops 2, 2, Call of Duty 2. I could even do COD 1. I'll, I'll play anything you guys want me to. If I'm just playing, I'm probably going to be playing Skyrim. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all in another video.